Now only use four letter words right here. Freddie Washington was born on December 23, 1903 in Savannah, Georgia. Her mother, Harriet Walker Ward Washington, was a dancer and father, Robert T. Washington, worked at the post office. Her parents were of African American and European ethnicity, which made Washington and her siblings fair skin, wavy hair, and green eyes. Freddie was the oldest of five children. Freddie's mother died when she was 11 years old, so she was raised by her grandmother, Ellie Brown, a.k.a. Big Mama. Her father later remarried, placing the sister Isabel and Freddie in Catholic convent St. Elizabeth's in Cornell Heights, Pennsylvania. The institution took in African-American and Native American orphans. Washington left when she was 16 and moved to Harlem, New York City to live with her grandmother and aunt. She got a job as a bookkeeper at an African-American record company, Black Swan. In 1922, she got a part in the all-black Broadway musical Shuffle Along. As a chorus dancer, she made $35 per week, enough for Freddie to take care of her entire family. In 1926, she made her debut as an actress in a leading theater role in Black Boy, but with limited number of acting opportunities for black actresses, she decided to move to Europe where she worked as a ballroom dance troupe touring France, Germany, and England. From 1933 to 1951, Freddie Washington was married to Lawrence Brown. From 1952 to 1970, she remarried to Dr. Hugh Anthony Bell. In 1928, she returned to the United States, securing small parts in the various stage and screen productions. In 1934, she appeared in her best-known movie role in the Academy Award-nominated adaptation of the Fannie Hearst novel, Imitation of Life. Washington was often considered too light for Hollywood's few black roles. In fact, through her career, Washington turned down a number of chances to pass for a white actress in movie roles. After the Imitation of Life movie, Washington's career hit a wall. With a few opportunities, she decided to quit movies altogether. Politicized by her experiences, she became a writer and civil rights activist. She was founding member of the Negro Actors Guild of America working for better opportunities for African-American actors. She was also an, an active member of NAACP. Washington later contracted Alzheimer's and eventually died of stroke on June 28, 1994 in Stamford, Connecticut. She was 90 years old. The bell is here. I'll remember next time. Don't bother about that now, Delilah. Let it go till morning. Miss B, you sure had a little. Mm -hmm. Oh, sit it up here. 